Hey guys and everyone, what's up yo? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video episode we will talk as usual how to create a cool landing page or a website with the help of UKIT service. So actually this is a new um, website builder service and that's why I decided to make observing video uh, how you can create right here uh, with the help of this perfect brilliant editor to be honest because I want to prove you that uh, everything is possible with the UK so actually watch this till the end as usual I'm waiting for your likes comments actually I'm waiting for your feedback as always you know YouTube it works and to be honest I really want to be useful for you so thank you for your attention and let's get down to your work just directly right now so uh, to begin with actually let's talk a little bit what is uh, UK yep uh, I would say that this is a website builder and uh, you can use it to launch and manage small businesses website and other types of projects for personal and commercial use so actually the system has gained worldwide popularity due to its amazing simplicity that does not compromise with quality and professional web design approach so this is an indispensable solution for new buys and web design pros willing to establish professional web presence for their businesses so um, this website builder will work great for all representatives of small and medium businesses who lack web design experience and don't wish to pay enormous sums of money to web studios and the key point I would say of uh, UK service is that you don't have to master programming basics to work with UK so actually this system uh, is very simple it's intuitive and flexible so it completes around 70 80 percent of work on its own so there are no layout design style charts photoshop and other daily issues most of web developers encounter here yeah so frequent updates uh, make this service more convenient and functional um, before you actually proceed to the website development process, you need to sign up for the platform, of course. So, fortunately, the website builder provides easy registration procedure. It means that if you have your social account in Facebook, LinkedIn, Google, yeah, so actually you may do this with the help of this social account, yeah, and the second registration option is to fill out the sign-up form providing your email, password, and info. After you need to um, actually verify it, yeah, via the link, in your uh, email address yep um, your registration and after you will get this templates yep so actually you will go to this template because right here you may observe them and actually you will work with them so, um, you can provide a wide range of these templates if you are looking at a specific template you may start your journey right here on the left side you have uh, actually uh, many categories of specific templates yeah that you need to find and actually let's start to uh, look one of uh, them uh, okay just let's take a look I don't know to be honest new dress collection Mm, healthy food let it be let's check the preview uh, so first of all uh, the thing that I love right here is that we have the adaptive designs so first of all we can observe how it, it looks like on the desktop version uh, I would say actually that is how uh, it works and to be honest um, I would say that the adaptive design is uh, the important part of uh, the process of creation a website or, or a landing page because you don't hold 24 hours per 7 your laptop actually you are holding your phone yeah, or uh, a tablet I would say so first of all let's check how it looks on a phone devices so you may play around like here to watch to scroll up and down to see how it looks like and I think that this is a really cool to be honest that you could provide this opportunity by the way we have two modes you see in horizontal and vertical way so basically uh, all the modes are uh, you can check and for uh, the tablet yep so uh, it looks pretty nice and uh, well when you will uh, be working uh, with the editor actually you may have the opportunity to work with uh, the adaptive designs uh, the next thing we have right here it provides us the opportunity to change actually a background uh, for me green one is 
cool yeah so let's save it and if you don't like this template you may uh, actually have the opportunity to look uh, to search the one that you like or we will start our journey just clicking directly to the bottom choose design after we have actually to choose the domain name it puts randomly so I think that this step it's not so uh, important right now to be honest I do this after finishing the designing process yep and I will just pass it right now I will continue and actually I will work with the editor so actually this is the editor where you can click the blocks experiment with the images color combinations integration of new elements and all in all it takes around several minutes to explore and master the editor that consists of four sections uh, such as design builder as we have it right here yep uh, pages and adaptive site view so let's take a deep review with the features of each of them in detail um, let's start with the first bottom here we have site pages yep and here we have actually page home and we can create uh, we can add the other pages so actually due to this tool yep a user can complete various actions with let's say pages add new pages remove existing ones, change the order of uh, pages in the menu, uh, edit web page content, duplicate, fill out meta tags, yeah. So basically all the elements we add to the web pages can be additionally set up. So you can change inner block composition, choose visual, visual design options, the number of format of displayed elements, background, whatever. So actually this uh, tool is responsible for this thing, yeah. Uh, the next one is Builder and um, so, um, actually this is drag and drop website builder and it used as the major website editing methods here so combinability of these methods uh, allows users to complete the major actions with the website elements and blocks by adding changing removing repositioning them in a few clicks only so the results of your actions are immediately displayed in the online mode uh, for example here we have uh, just a face block yeah and right here i would love to add the gallery so i simply drag right here the gallery and here we have the gallery I would love to change uh, or for example I don't like the gallery yep so I will remove it and I would love to add the slider right here and will be better yep here we have a slider we may add right here the other elements and I would love to put a bottom so let it be just a bottom under the slider just uh, it's just for an example where I don't like a bottom I guess the right here will be appropriate a quote I don't know yep after the quote should be should be, should be, should be, I don't know. Uh, it may be a callback, live chat, contact information. <laughs> let it be, I don't know, let it be Instagram. Yeah. And here we have uh, just we can connect our account to display photos from the page social accounts of the Instagram yep so basically right here on the builder we have widgets yep social widgets with contact media everything yep or uh, we may play around with the blocks right here with uh, the builder yeah with the sections so actually sections and blocks they, uh, they are parts of uh, a page yeah uh, for those who don't know what is the widgets what are the widgets yep uh, in my words I will say that these are functional elements that are added to website pages by simply dragging as I was showing to you yep so uh, there are many of them such as fixed menu bottom images mm, spacing quotes and others you have even a media player even a Google search yep so these are the widget yeah but you can also use ready and made block combinations required to complete a certain function such as header footer specification products context portfolio reviews and others yep the next one we have a design mode so uh, a design mode I would say this is a simple mode because right here we can uh, change a color scheme uh, we can add well, uh, an image to for the, our background. Uh, the other we can change the color, for example, of the background. We may play around with the fonts, and these settings they are in the whole website or the landing page. So uh, I'll adore it because it's very useful uh, and easy and. Uh, I would say for me it's uh, for me it's conveniently because uh, the changes are in the whole uh, landing page or website. 
so what I can say, the other, what I can add, uh, oh, and I forgot that here we have the adaptive side version, so basically we may play around with this one, uh, just to check how it will be in, in future, uh, let's check uh, a tablet, so I'm basically that here, how it looks like, the mobile devices, yep, so basically what I can say about uh, website editing, yeah, that UK uses one of the best visual editors in the, uh, actually, uh, in this area, yeah. So all the steps here can be completed with a few clicks only, and I try to prove it. Uh, so what uh, what's impressive, it's possible to start a ready-made website in one or two hours only by simply dragging the elements from the control panel to website pages as well as by creating or adjusting content box positions, yep. And um, all the elements you can pick and add to the page, have detailed settings, it's possible to choose separate design options and added blocks, content for many of them. So it's very convenient to be honest. And let's take a look uh, one more time at this template. And I can say that don't forget that in each landing page in a website there should be basic elements such as logo, for example, should be a menu, uh, a header, uh, a face um, block. Uh, what? Why this block? I call it like face block because this is, should be a face of your website or a landing page. Uh, in face block should be a heading, subheading, and of course a city at bottom. Yep, city at bottom, it means call to action bottom. Uh, the next one, it depends on the project, but there should be gallery, uh, some uh, portfolio of your products. Remember that all the images, they should be high quality. And of course, there should be a section about, but after the sections, they depend on the product. If you have, for example, a gym, so here you have to tell about your gym and to make a portfolio, some special prices, propositions, contact forms, uh, and of course social account forms. If you have a restaurant, there should be a menu, there should be uh, about a chef, yep, uh, a story, a uh, portfolio of a chef. So it depends, of course, on the area. I can say that UKID is contemporary, convenient, and simple way to builder, which initially targets small and mid-sized business owners. So its feature set is popular enough to come up to the needs of each user who has intention to start an effectively managed professional project. Um, what matters most is that the website builder does not require any coding and web design skills to run quality projects, so everyone can master its intuitive visual interface to be able to, to uh, take design projects out of ready-made widgets and content blocks. So everything is made right here, you just need to simply drag it, maybe you need to have a good taste, of course it's important and to analyze what should be what block should be in your landing page or website yep and um the website builder comes with an extensive collection of responsive fully customizable designs tailor made for specific commercial and non-commercial needs so due to the integrated drag and drop functionality it's possible to start uh, projects of any complexity level without any coding or design proficiency at all so there are only some of the most obvious reasons of why uk platform uh, enjoys popularity with entrepreneurs, creatives, students, artists, photographers, maybe models, stylists, and other users. Yep, and this is that's why I decided to prepare a cool observer video for you, and I really do hope that uh, my videos and my channel they are useful. And to be honest, if you don't understand something, please write me in comments, and maybe the next video will be about your question, or even you may share with me your experience with UKIT service or the other website builders. Maybe who knows? The next video will be about your uh, website builder, which you wrote me in comments. See up about your experience and I will try it. So this is actually the end of this observing tutorial video episode and actually I would like to wish you uh, good vibes, good mood with uh, the UK service and to be honest for me it's very interesting to make these videos with the other website builders because I want to show you all that you can do uh, actually a cool landing page in 20 minutes for a website in uh, one hour because uh, actually this 
platforms that they provide you the opportunity uh, to make it simply dragging one element to the other to play around with all these widgets the only thing that you need to have actually a portfolio of your product but right now it's also it's not a problem because many platforms have their stocks where you can buy these images and actually the job is done to be honest so this is the end thank you for your attention i wish you good experience good work with um, uk service i'm waiting for your feedback and thank you for your attention don't forget to put a like subscribe to my channel and see ya